What's up, my Ninja Warriors? This is the Ninja Warrior here, and I'm bringing you another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire video. So, in this episode, well, in the last episode, we took on the final member of the Elite Force. In this episode, we're going to be taking on the champion, who's Steven. So, anyway, I'm, I'm just going in with my little, like, 59s, 60s, and 63 Metagross. So, yeah, let's go into this. I think I'm pretty ready. I'm ready to win. I'm ready to kick his butt. I'm ready to destroy Steven. I'm gonna destroy Steven so good. I haven't saved whatever. Wait a second, I didn't save. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome. I was hoping I would get to see you make it here one day. Tell me, what have you seen on your journey with your Pokemon? What have you felt meeting so many other trainers out there? Traveling to the rich land of Hoenn, has it awoken something inside of you? I want you to come with me with all that you've learned. The Pokemon and I will respond in turn with all, with all that we know. Let it begin! And this is it. This is the final battle before we beat the game. It's a champion fight. Can't believe this is it. This is it. It's a champion fight. This is it. It's the first the battle we need to beat in order to beat the game. So he's going to have a Stormery. So I'm going to have a Metric. So. See. I'm actually not going to make a Vulk since I want to make a Vulk Swamp for it first. But I'm actually going to know he's Mega Megos and I'm. So what I'm gonna do for Mega Metagross, I'm probably gonna like, end up Mega Evolving it in the Mega Swampert again to Mega Evolving. That's the only reason why I'm not, not Mega Evolving now. No wonder. Of course you have a Force. Why wouldn't you have a Force then? So yeah, now it's not, so now Summer is dead and all it did really is get the latest spike. Kind of like whatever. It's not why it's low 60, it's pretty nice. So on the aggro, I'm just gonna bolt switch to see it. Let's get some damage off on it and then switch out. So yeah. I'm gonna get a lot of damage off while switching out, which is pretty nice. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring them. Bring to be put in work, I guess. Okay, yeah. so let's work with that. I ain't gonna do anything. Kind of glad I went to bring him here. And now look for it, yeah. I mean, that's what a body is gonna start to cut. It's easy to take him out from the range you get. So now Agron is down. That's two Pokemon down, four to go. I think he has six Pokemon. Does he have six? I don't know. I'm pretty sure he does. For doing. What does this thing even weak to? This thing's brass rock, right? So he's weak to Metagross' skill type moves. So I'm just going to Metagross because he's weak to Metagross' skill type moves. So yeah. So he's going to have the 4 Pokemon left. If you did have four Pokemon left, so we'll, we all both have six Pokemon, which is pretty cool. So, uh, his Cordelia is actually pretty high level. It's fairly high level. Well, my my Mega is still six level higher level. That's the only thing my Mega is very really high level, though. It's kind of really over level. Anyway, I'm just, I'm just going for a Meteor Mash. Bop. He's gonna body this thing. I don't have a crit. Definitely didn't matter. I'm too powerful. So now that Cordelia is down. I'm going to play it all. Hmm. Who's going to? I'm just going to lot of you. And of course, I'm not going to go well because I'm playing Mega Ball Swamp right later on. I've already said a billion times before. So I'm just going to lot of you. So it's a lot of you to take it to a take it to So I'm not going to Mega Ball since I want to make all. I'm not going to Mega Ball since I want to make all. So I'm just going to go for a surf. 
Hey, this is a lot of different trailers. I guess that's the same thing. I can... Yeah. So I get four stars. I'm just going to the surf though. You can't really force her all day. Okay, good. So now he's pretty all dead. So now he only has two Pokemon left. Which is pretty good. For me. Armaldo. I think it's also a Bug Rock, isn't it? It's one of those games. So I'm pretty sure that things are still tight because it's not like those. No, it's Bug Rock. It's different than. I don't make a difference. No, whatever. No, whatever. I guess I could have gone to Swamp Rift to lead to water. No, 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 no. It, it is lead to water, man. I could have gone to Swamp Rift. Yeah. The thing about Meteor Man is that it is super effective. I mean, the thing about Meteor Man is that's a super effective hit, and that's Dead Armado. That is a Dead Arm. Now he's gonna go to the Metagross. Now, this is his ace. It's the ace. It's the ace. This is it. Mm. It's the final battle. Me versus Megos. This Megos about to hit me up. Did that make it ever go? So we're going on to his ace, which is his Mega Megos is his ace. Oh, 59. I got that old 60 swamp with you. So it's going to make a wall of an earthquake. It's going to make a wall. The swamp bird is evolving because it's a swamp bird. The swamp bird is on the wall. Who the hip hop? Who does Metagross is going to follow the Metagross site? This means there's a Metagross site. Oh, snap. Is he working with one shot? I don't know. This thing is pretty bulky though. I don't know. See, he does not one shot, but it almost one shot. We what? Why would you go for Meteor Match if it was just a hit? Like, what? And yeah, let's go for another Earthquake. He just speeds me? What? He has to just have to make an evolution. And he killed you, you get your impact. I didn't know he would have to speed me after the Mega Evo. Oh, I think. You know, I'm just gonna take down my own Mega Evo. Just tell them I'm Mega Evo. Mega obviously better than his. You don't mind anything in the Mega Evo part yet. <laughs> There's one more medium mash. It should kill from the strange. I just thought so. My Megos parents just took out a Mega Megro. It's pretty nice. And my Megos is gonna gain go to level 64. That's it. We defeat Champion Steven. <coughs> so I, the champion, fall into defeat. Just as I come to expect. Matt, you're truly an excellent Pokemon trainer. Congratulations on you, and thank you. I'd want to learn how you feel about this world. What kind of ideals you have developed for your Pokemon. I feel I was able to find the answers in our battle. If you want to have your Pokemon, and the way that your Pokemon gave you are all in battle in response to those feelings. Those two together are create a great power. Create a great power. That is how you seize victory today. I feel, felt a thrill of excitement in my breast when we first met. And now I know for sure that fearing was not misplaced. You're rightfully in the holy region. Region to new. Matt, oh hey. I got some advice. You got the huge free challenge of champion. Huh? What? 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 Matt, could it be that it's already over? <laughs> See, what did I tell you? Didn't I tell you that Matt would be just funny? Matt, you finally done it. When I heard that you defeated your own father at the Trouble Gym, I thought you perhaps you had a chance. I think you've actually become the champion. But congratulations on today, today's victory. Now go in there with your head held high. Matt. Now, I should call you the Hoenn Region's new Pokemon League Champion. Come on, me, Champion. 
I'm very sorry. The only trainer who has successfully become champion may go beyond this point. You need to wait outside of the professor. No way! Just joking, it's okay, it's fine. But rules are rules, right? Matt, honestly, congratulations. So now you're gonna be entered into the Hall of Fame. It's pretty, into the Hall of Fame. It's pretty nice. It feels like I've only set my journey like three days ago. Oh wait, I did. No, I did set away my journey three days ago. <laughs> huh. This room. This is where we maintain the records of Pokemon that prevailed through the harshest of battles. It is here that the champions are honored. Come, we will use this machine to record your name and the names of the partners who battled along with you to triumph over the Pokemon League. Oh, uh, this is pretty nice. You can see all the Pokemon here. It's a hollow earth thing. Got Manetric. Oh my god, you're a man. My Mega Manetric. Got Radios. Oh, this is just powerful. You need Mega Radios. Swallow is just thing why I see why. Got Brain Loom. He's power. Kill it worse than anything. Got Mega Swampert. The first Pokemon I ever got. It's pretty awesome. Got Mega Metagross. Who I got. Who just was ridiculously powerful when I got it. Which then had but I actually forgot it had it at some point. But it's still awesome. Congratulations on becoming Pokemon League Champion. Thanks, man. I always loved to Pokemon League Champion. So we have done it. We have finally beaten the game. Anyway, guys, after this, I'm probably going to end up doing the Delta episode. And after that, I'm probably going to try to do competitive battles. Until I start to get more, like, Pokemon. Or, like, or I ask for the Pokemon. I'm probably going to make teams in them. But for now, let's just, let's just celebrate this moment. This awesome moment. <laughs> where we defeat Steven. So yeah. Welcome back, Matt. Back, Matt. I decide, you know, since we are both here and all, that I wait for you. We should out on this journey together, right? So maybe we should finish it together too. Hee <laughs> hee. You think you want to battle me or no I'm joking, there's no way. So come on, let's go home, back to Little Roots now. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go, man. Let's go. Anyways, that's gonna be it. So now I'm pretty sure the credits are gonna roll. Yeah. The credits are gonna come. Oh my god, this... Oh yeah, I remember this. I was trying to do Little Root. I was trying to do Little Root and it was awesome. So yeah. It was a pretty awesome game, I think. To make. Oh my god, I've had so much fun this game. This game has been so awesome. And now we're riding back to Little Root with May, Town with May, which is pretty cool. So, yeah. Oh my god. Wait a minute, some moving book came out and like. Well, I'm not. Put in his truck. They put him in the back of the truck. Oh boy. Oh yeah, this is why I caught. This is why I chose my first Pokemon. So I chose Mudkip. I chose Mudkip. I said, I was trying to name him over Mudkip and I forgot to pee. So pretty cool though. And here, that's where I got my shiny belt on, I think. Right? You got one? I don't know, I'm not even sure. 